Hello everybody and welcome back to The Little Quilter. Today we have been working on the Sparrow Quilt um, and I had just started filming this when I broke a needle. So I was trying to fit my quilting ruler like a dum-dum so that it was up under here so that I could get it right and I don't know if the needle hit it. I don't actually know what happened. I just know that the needle broke and um, the machine was quite angry and I was able to get the needle. It had broke at the tip. So let's see. Yeah, here is the, um, that didn't work, did it? I can't do this one handed. Here's the broken needle. So broke it right off at the tip there, not ideal. And I thought, well, that's okay, put a new one on. And then my machine started skipping stitches. So then I worked on this and I did all of this trying to see if my stitches were skipping. And sometimes it would look perfect and it would be fine and then you can see right here where there would definitely is a skip stitch skip stitch so it was becoming consistent enough that it really was worrying me so i started doing some research on what to do with skip stitches all of these things i changed to a different needle i did realize i was using a 110 needle and prior to that i had been using a 100 needle so i switched my needles that did not seem to work. I re-threaded the machine, that did not seem to work. So then I got worried that I had messed up the timing in my machine, started doing some research on how to evaluate that. And opened, actually took this, opened up the plate that's down here so that I could look in there to see. And what I quickly realized was, I have no idea what normal looks like. Not even a clue. If I get a chance, I might go ahead and put a video in here for you guys to see what it looks like whenever I have that needle open. And for those of you who have a King Quilter, if you've opened yours before, I hate for anybody to mess with theirs and mess anything up, but if you've looked in to that part of your machine before, does this look similar? I don't know. And of course, I can't find any King Quilter videos regarding this type of issue. Um, there are some other videos to test or to look at it. And there's one great one about how to fix it, except mine is different and I can't access it the way that he is accessing it. So I kind of put it back together and thought, okay, well, let's see what happens. And cleaned it out, oiled it. And now, Maybe it's working? back to this I ran out had run out of all of this so I did this line here of up and down back and forth and I really don't see any skip stitches there so I came back over here and I've still got to take all of this stitching out because you can see where it was like see this should be normal and then that's definitely not normal so I'm gonna go through and take all of that out this is what I just stitched and I think maybe there's one there or there but I think the rest of them look really really good so the question is what to do now 
Unfortunately, I think if I wanted to call the repair people, that wouldn't be able to happen until Thursday. Last time I called them on my day off, when they were open, I really didn't hear from them for several weeks. Um, now, the problem ended up being fixed itself. They did recommend two things, which I have continued to do. So, on my machine here, they did recommend keeping it at 12 stitches per inch. I think I had usually been quilting at 11 stitches per inch. And they recommended that I clean under here the carriage wheels. So cleaning this and also cleaning the table that it runs on to help. So I may clean those as well and see if that does anything. I don't think it really has anything to do with my problem that I'm having currently. I think this problem has to do with I may have messed the timing up some. But maybe, I don't know. I don't know if I fixed it or if that was just a lucky few stitches. I'm not sure. Anyways, it's much too late to continue. And so I'll have to continue to troubleshoot this and see where we're at. So if there isn't any more of long arm quilting for a little while, it's because I'm troubleshooting my machine because I broke a stitch because I was being dumb. So. Hopefully the next clip will be us quilting some more because it's working beautifully and I don't know how I fixed it. And if not, then it may be a video about how I sent my machine off. Sad day. To get repaired though, so that's okay, right? Alright, let's see what happens.